It all began with some inside the box thinking. A very creative individual took one look at one very large box and saw the future. I had just seen the millennium. I said, believe me, it's something that the firm has to get into. It's just the coming thing. And if we miss it, we're going to miss the boat. The idea was to use this new electronic gadgetry as a tool to better serve clients and help improve their performance. That's when Joe Glickoff helped lay the foundation for what has become our heritage. Some might call that stewardship. It began as a way to improve the efficiency of General Electric's payroll, with a few bumps along the way. It took longer to run the payroll than a week of work. If we put the payroll on the computer, then inside of five weeks, uh, we would put General Electric out of business. From there, things spread quickly to other industries. What started as a smart idea in Chicago spread like wildfire to New York, London, Paris, and finally, literally the world, as we became a truly global network of the best and brightest. The great debate in those days was could we ever grow over 200 people? At the beginning of the 80s, we were 150, and we were saying we will never, you know, we, we are done. I mean, we cannot grow more than that. Owls has always been an organization that respected the talents of individuals, a meritocracy where there are no limits for those willing to work, to innovate, and to push boundaries. People have this sense of winning, this sense of courage, this sense of facing daunting challenges. The methodologies and computer systems originally designed to simply improve or speed business processes has over time led to revolutionary business consulting breakthroughs like just-in-time delivery, business integration, technology advances, and the redefinition of outsourcing. There was a changing of the guard in leadership in the consulting profession. We decided we were going to take that mantle. We were going to redefine it on our terms, and we did. We led this industry. In some ways, we created this industry, and that all our competitors wanted to be like us, and our job was to be gone when they got there. It is a natural thing for us to continue to reinvent ourselves. Over the years, there were challenges. We even created a new identity for ourselves. This has been one of the most thorough name examinations that's ever been done by mankind. And I am so pleased to share with you the new name of our firm. Accenture. 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 I really love the new name. We continue to be known for our ability to innovate, to add value, to help our clients become high-performance businesses. Cool. We're known for our integrity, our stewardship, our global network, and our people. Oh, we have the best people. People who have similar beliefs and values. To understand the changes that we need to make. Make a best effort to meet client expectations. To actually execute the business strategy. Deliver the right thing to the client. Doing what's necessary to make us who we want to be in the future. Not arrogance, but confidence. It's about our character, and it's about being superior in execution. It's about being different than our competitors, and it's about recognizing that we play a long-term game. Innovation is the answer to everything. To get anywhere, you've got to innovate and have the enthusiasm to keep going. We are our values. We are driven. We lead. We are Accenture.